What's up? My name is Otterock and I make things. What am I making today? Barbasol. Well, not this Barbasol. You can go to the store and buy this Barbasol. Well, this is Power Lube. We're not making Power Lube and you can go buy this Power Lube. Just go to some random hardware store and buy the CRC Power Lube. It's a multi-purpose lubricant. What this has that this Barbasol doesn't have is the correct shape because we need a 1990s version Barbasol. Dennis Nedry would have. We're gonna take this one, cut it up, put some innards in there, and we're gonna make ourselves a cryo can. So let's get to it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna 3D print this. What takes me eight hours to do is gonna take 1.2 seconds for you. Next, we're gonna sand. We're gonna sand the 3D print, then we're gonna sand the 3D print, and then we're gonna sand the 3D print, and then we're gonna put some filler primer on it. And when we're done with that, we're gonna sand, and then we're gonna sand, and then we're gonna filler primer, and then you guessed it, we're gonna sand. The inside of this prop is chrome. What holds the dinosaur embryos is as chrome as you can get. We need to spray gloss black over top of this so that when we spray chrome all clad, it looks awesome. While we wait for the sticky black gloss coloring to completely dry, why don't we go ahead and just empty this can out so when we open it up, it's not spraying all over our face. Now, I could do that. That yeah, might be kind of entertaining to start opening it up, but I don't want power lube all over my shop. We're not gonna do that. What we are gonna do is we're gonna take this Doctor Strange bucket that I got at the movie theater one day and spray the can into it. Next thing on our agenda is to tear this can apart. Best thing to do when tearing these apart, can opener. Absolutely awesome. Nice clean cut. That's what we need. You could also take a grinder to this and cut that off, but would not recommend. Okay, now that the bottom is off, let's get that stem that sucks all the juices out of the bottom of the can. Get that out of there and let's start sanding. Sanding again, what do you know? Working on a project, gotta sand the outside of this here can so that when we put the new sticker on, you know, Barbasol sticker from the 1990s, it looks presentable and it'll actually stick and not be on a glossy sticker that comes from the factory. Okay, so the stem from the power loop is longer than the Barbasol's stem, so it kind of pissed me off, so don't mind me here. And now it's gone, so we can put the blue Barbasol cap on it. Nice. Next thing on my event list of things that need to happen here, I need to paint the top of this can white. Kind of a dull, shiny, interesting color-ish white. Uh, I don't know, it's white. What do you do? So let's get that done and move on to the next. Next, we have to put the Barbasol sticker on. I got this sticker from Etsy. It cost me 98 cents for a digital download. Dollar well spent, I guess. And you take that and you print it onto glossy sticker paper that you run through your printer. Why do I have a can of modern Barbasol? Because I put this sticker on out of frame and I thought, you know what? Let's at least put something in the center of the frame, a modern can of Barbasol. And there you go. The absolute only reason I bought a modern can of Barbasol, the cap. One thing you might be asking yourself, hey, Otterock, why are you using a can of power lube and not a period can of shaving cream? One, because I didn't want to spend $300 on a period accurate can of Barbasol. And two, I did buy a period can of shaving cream. And guess what? That one cost me $25 with shipping and the power lube cost me $5 at the hardware store. And wouldn't you know it, they are the exact same size. So now I have a 1990s can of Colgate lime shaving cream, which means that I'm winning. And for some reason, my goal is to remind you of that multiple times the rest of the video. Anyway, back on topic, I wanted the bottom of the can to look like an actual can and not some 3D printed amalgamation. So I have to get the bottom of the can that I cut off with the can opener and get that attached to the 3D print. While you weren't looking, I sprayed all of the parts on the inside, a nice chrome, and it was time to start putting this all together. 
Now the 3D print has a hole that is in the bottom that holds the bottom to the side and it's supposed to be used for a piece of PLA spool. I didn't like that idea. I decided to use the ground wire out of house electrical wire. So now that I have it all together, I have a modern can of Barbasol, can of Colgate lime, shaving cream, and my prop that will now just sit on a shelf and collect dust, but it's awesome.